Hi everyone, welcome back to Yellow Cottage Soapery. Tonight I am making a soap using my squeegee bottles, which I don't normally do, um, just because I find that you have to be sure your fragrance and your recipe is going to allow the soap batter to stay fluid enough to pipe. So I have a fragrance called Bergamot and Tarragon Leaves, and this was actually one that I offered in my giveaway. And I will read you a fragrance description real quick. It is um, truly a spectacular spa-like fragrance with notes of tarragon leaves, grapefruit and lime, complemented by notes of bergamot and jasmine, well-rounded with base notes of oak moss and bamboo. And I really like this fragrance. It's really different than anything I've used before if you can believe that because I've used a lot but I really like um, bergamot a lot and I think the addition of that into the other with the other notes is really nice so I'm going to do five different colors I'm going to try to do a spinning swirl soap which I haven't tried before um, so I'm using my brambleberry slab mold and I'm also using neon green from nurture soap I'm using um, what is this one? Satin Penny for Mad Oils. I have Grape Knee High from Mad Oils. And I have Firefly Mica from Nurture Soap. And I might use a little bit of white, but probably mostly the fifth bottle will be pretty much natural soap. Because white will thicken it a lot. So, um, I have a little bit of white mixed up just in case. Now I'm using full water with this recipe. Normally I use a water discount and I'm using full water hoping it'll stay fluid a little bit better, a little bit longer. Um, and I'm also, I mixed my, um, I have a water soluble and an oil soluble titanium dioxide for the white color and I've mixed it in oil soluble as opposed to water. And the reason being is because since I am using full water with this recipe, I find that when I do that, if I add a, for example, if I add the titanium dioxide that I have pre-mixed here with water, I find that the addition of the extra water, which is more than what the recipe calls for, I find that that's when I get glycerin rivers. And glycerin rivers can be fine and they're, they're, it's no harm to the soap whatsoever, um, but I just prefer not to have them in my soap. So since I'm doing full water, I'm doing the oil soluble titanium dioxide, which I'm only going to use a little of that anyway, so it shouldn't make much of a difference. So with the spinning swirl soap, I'm just going to use the squeegee bottles, pour it in at different spots in the mold, and then you just kind of take your mold and spin it to get different, or just to get the soap to swirl kind of on its own. So that's what I'm going for. And we'll go ahead and get started.
to cut this spinning swirl soap and I went ahead and marked off so there will be uh, a little over three inches by two inches so I'm just going to go ahead and cut these real quick and then I will probably cut, trim them up with my my cutter, my bar cutter. The colors aren't as vivid as I was hoping they would be and I did cover it to ensure gel um, that it would go through gel phase but that's okay. Last night when after I made it the, the silver penny color looked like tomato soup so I wasn't sure how this was going to turn out. You can see there's some swirling on the inside um, and it did start to thicken up on me before I was finished pouring it. Let me bring this over here. I think what I'll do is just trim off. Hmm. Try this one. Just the very, very top. Uh. So it didn't. It didn't have a real spinning swirl because when I was spinning it, because it had thickened, you could tell that in the center it wasn't spinning as much as it should have. And because on the outside it started to look kind of muddy, so I didn't want to keep swirling it. And the one thing I don't like about a technique like this I think it's fine to do once in a while, um, but that's kind of cool. But I had a lot of waste, I felt, like with soap I couldn't get out of the squirt bottles. And you all know how I feel about waste, so. But it was something different to try. Kind of cool. The, sm the smell is really, really nice. I like this one a lot. I've been happy with the, um, with some of the fragrances that I've got to test. I think that they have turned out really nice. That's neat.
And last one. Okay guys, thanks so much for watching and I will catch you on the next video.